I'm heading back to the 1930s where the outlaws rule and the public enjoys reading about their exploits. One man, however, is determined to bring the outlaws down. J. Edgar Hoover, head of the Bureau of Investigation. To succeed, he has to overcome Babyface Nelson, a man so dangerous that other gangsters refuse to work with him. An action! Our graphics wizards are recreating the moment that Hoover's agents clashed with Babyface in a car chase and a shootout worthy of Hollywood. In the early 30s, Hoover was in the process of changing the poorly regarded Bureau of Investigation into the modern FBI. He believed that catching the outlaws would help him do that. That's firing. To find out why, I'm going back to Jeff Gwynn. How did Hoover use the outlaw phenomenon? It gave him a way to identify a new enemy to the American people. If J. Edgar Hoover can be the driving force in eliminating this certain high rank criminal or criminals, that allows him in Washington to have built a wider and wider power base and to be able to make the case, if you will give me a full-fledged department that I can run, we will bring law and order to this country. To help get the public on side, Hoover develops a list of his most wanted criminal targets. On that list is Lester Gillis, also known as Babyface Nelson. Babyface came from Chicago. To find out about him, I'm heading back there to meet Tony Stewart, who has done in-depth research on the outlaw. Babyface Nelson resented all cops. I mean, if you wore a badge, you were the enemy. He holds a record for killing three FBI agents, and that's the most ever in history. Babyface was an effective criminal and an excellent driver. For the boys, his final car chase is a complex, fast-paced graphic. They need to put four cops, three cars, and two gangsters on the road. But they have to film the car interior shots while the cars are static, so they can drop detailed views of the chase into the windows. So Colin has been figuring out how to create a sense of movement. I'm simulating the passing of trees and fences with these uh, high-profile uh, film production sticks. While the boys create the graphic, I need to find out more about what made an outlaw like Babyface so hard to bring to justice. 